Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of Living Large Camping. It's now January here in Colorado, but back in November we took the four-wheel camper on a quick weekend trip down to Pine, Colorado and just wanted to bring you along and show you what that looked like. Um, if you have any questions on the camper or our setup or anything like that, just let us know. But other than that, hope you enjoy and uh, we'll see you for the next one. look at the cabinets that we went ahead and built in the last video um, we've got the smaller cabinet on the right side for clothes storage and a larger cabinet on the left for cookware and other miscellaneous items the jacks down to get the camper up off the trailer. Um, usually use a drill on one side and a hand crank on the other just because it's what we have. But you just work it in the front and the back until it is high enough that you can slide the truck bed under it. And as you can see here, whenever we pull the trailer out, we have to put this platform in the bed of the truck. Um, since this camper is made for a smaller truck, such as a Tacoma or a Ford Ranger, um, it has to be lifted up high enough to sit over the bed rails on the Ram 1500. And similar way to all four-wheel campers, you use turnbuckles in the front um, and they just mount into the front corners of the truck bed. And then here we've got a thousand pound ratchet strap that goes from the front mount in the bed to the back mount in the bed just to keep everything secure. And since weight is everything with a truck camper, we do take the jacks off for every trip that we go on. They do weigh about 100 pounds total, so we figure we'll save that weight and use it for something else while we camp. We ended up finding a spot in Pine, Colorado, just on some BLM land. Um, it was just on a forest service road, so there were a, a decent number of campers there that weekend. Um, but we were just happy to find a spot, and this one ended up being pretty good for us. One of the best parts about the four-wheel camper is how easy it is to pop up and set up. Here you can see a, a sped up video, but overall it only takes a couple minutes to have camp fully ready. things you have to do when you get to camp is go ahead and start getting the fire ready and while well, there's no better way to do that than with the beer in your hand after a long road trip so we're gonna sit down and uh, enjoy these two beers and, and get this fire going and just enjoy being out here
We were very happy to wake up to a nice sunny morning out there. Um, it was about 25 degrees that morning, but um, overall we were just ready to get some coffee on the stove and, and start sitting outside and enjoying the sun. Well, we're out here camping. It's mid-November and I don't know if we can see this, but it's starting to snow a little bit. Uh, we're in the four-wheel pop-up camper and uh, we'll let you know how it goes. It kept snowing a little bit while we were camping, so we decided to go inside and, and cozy up and read a little bit of a book for a while and just kind of figure out what we need to do next as far as lounging areas in the camper. All right, so we're packing up to head out. It got to about 15 degrees last night, pretty cold. Um, a lot of condensation in the side of the camper, so we've got the vents open, and we're just kind of letting it air out a little bit while we pack everything up, hopefully dry some things out. Um, overall, camper did great. Uh, we had a good time. We're sitting in Pine, Colorado is the closest area, and uh, yeah, headed out. <laughs> Just like setting up the four-wheel camper, taking it down is just as easy and seamless. Um, we really enjoyed the fact that it's so quick to take it up and down. It really makes it nice for these shorter kind of trips. Um, we're going to see how, how much we enjoy it for longer stays and doing it every night, but for now it's really been a great option for us. We have had a few questions as to how long and hard it is to take the camper off the truck. Um, I'd say it's about 30 minutes each way, putting it on and taking it off. Um, you know, once once you get the camper up where it's lifted off the truck bed, you just pull the truck out, put the trailer under it, and then lower the camper down slowly. And then we go ahead and attach it to the trailer just so it doesn't move around, and then just back it up into the garage, and that's where it lives until the next time we go.
Well, that's it for this video. Uh, we want to go ahead and thank everybody for watching along and just kind of going with us as we take it out for a short weekend camping. Um, we are going to be building uh, the platform on this camper here in the next week. So we'll have another video out on that. And then just some kind of small things to make it a little bit more comfortable. I mentioned a little bit of a lounging area. Um, we're going to add some solar on the roof and just some things like that. So um, we're going to try to post a little bit more regularly, hopefully one or two videos a month. So yeah, stick around and uh, let us know if you have any questions on the video or the camper itself, and we'll see you next time. Thanks.